Welcome to New to the Street. I'm your host, Dustin Plantel. Joining us today inside the New York Stock Exchange is Kevin Edgar. Kevin, welcome to the show. Thank you. Nice to meet you. So you are the co-founder of Gemios. Correct. And your wife is the other side of the... Yeah, my wife is the other co-founder. Uh, and tell us about Gemios. Uh, Gemios is a trading company that uses uh, Forex algorithms as the product base. Um, generally, they're, they're actually AI-based Forex trading algorithms. So most Forex trading algorithms are just something called the expert advisor. So it's a program you create, you put it in a MetaTrader account, and then it opens trades based on a set of parameters. Our algorithms are actually connected to an external database where we have artificial intelligence, like machine learning artificial intelligence, that gives economic and sentiment factors to the algorithm, which is one of the main things that makes our algorithms kind of different than the general EA expert advisor that you would find on the market. Now, how did you get into this space? Well, I myself have been a trader for about nine years. Um, basically, I started trading, and a few years later, I started consulting and educating others on how to do the same. And then in 2019 to 2020, we started to look at how can we make this where we're not spending hours a day staring at charts uh, like you guys and how we can kind of take a step back and even offer a product like that that's kind of hands-free, a little bit more passive to customers. So we started looking at how to create algorithms. And from then, it's just kind of blossomed into what it is now. Now, transparency. And I think that many times that is lacking specifically yeah. in, in this world of, of trading. So yeah. talk about transparency. How important is this to Gemios? So transparency is super important. I mean, I don't think you can get a customer or sell a product without having actual transparency and integrity. So um, all of our algorithms, the master accounts are connected to MyFX books, which is basically a public ledger that shows you the results. So anytime we have, including a winning month, a losing month, a winning streak, a losing streak, all that is posted to the public on MyFX book. Um, so that's how we, that's how our transparency comes through for each of our algorithms. Well, you just said something to me that's really important when you're developing trust is you just said winning or losing. So you're saying that you're not always going to win. No, definitely not. You're always going to have losing periods like any trader, any experienced trader would know, but the people, for the people that don't understand trading, you will have losing periods. There'll be drawdowns, there'll be losing months, but a system that's profitable no matter how many losing months it has, as long as the winning months outweigh the losers, that's how you have a profitable system and a profitable strategy specifically. I know profitability, I was talking to a friend recently about this. I said, you know, it comes down to knowing what you want or knowing what the return is. Yeah. I mean, so how do you gauge that? What is considered a healthy return? If you get 5% in a year, should you be patting yourself on the back 20% of the year? Um, I mean, what is, what is really realistic uh, where we're not allowing greed to take over? Got you. So, I mean, if you can beat other assets in the market, like real estate or the S&P 500, so 5 to 10% a year, I don't think that becomes an attractive product to an investor when they're paying a fee, right? So you have to be able to do better than that. So like 15, 20, 30% or greater, I think you become an attractive asset, especially when you're in a higher risk space than you are real estate or S&P 500, a little bit more stable. If you're going to be day trading, which inherently carries a bit more risk, you need to be attractive enough for customers for it to make sense to them logically. So 20, 30% a year or greater, I think becomes the right, like the sweet spot, basically. Now, why do the majority of day traders lose? I would say most day traders lose because I don't think it's because of the strategy itself. I think there's a lot of good strategies that have just a small enough edge over the market that over time you can be profitable. But I think that it's the discipline, it's the psychology. So if, you know, most people that kind of treat it as gambling, so they start trading and they start winning some trades. They start thinking, well, now I'm a good trader because now I'm winning. So they start increasing risk when they shouldn't. And adversely, they start losing trades. And as they're losing trades, they think, oh, now I'm, you know, now I'm really mad. I'm upset. And they let their emotions take over their psychology. So they start doing something called revenge trading. So they'll start, again, increasing the risk, trying to earn back what they've lost and inherently blow their account. And it's like a repetitive cycle that happens over and over again with new traders. So I don't think it's the strategy per se. I really think it has a lot to do with discipline and psychology. Now, how do you help your customers on the education side? Because I look at what you just said, the ability to regulate your mouth. Yes. Talk about education. So when someone actually becomes a client of Gemios, we have a whole educational series that actually kind of walks them through the basis of trading. It's not showing them how to trade because our algorithm is doing the work for them, right? But it's showing them um, what you should expect with day trading, what a, what drawdowns are, how, how much of a drawdown is realistic, and kind of help them get over some of the basic psychological hurdles of becoming a trader, but then in the end not having to trade themselves. But at least we walk them through that with an educational series that kind of helps. And talk about being different. Yeah. How are you guys better? 
So how we differentiate ourselves on the market from other Forex algorithms, because there's quite a few algorithms on the market. There's a lot of algorithm companies. I would say our major differentiation point is we have actual AI that helps the algorithm. So to give you a, like a, in a nutshell, most algorithms are just called an expert advisor. Most algorithms work on something called MetaTrader. It's a trading terminal. Um, so you would download this expert advisor or algorithm and plug it into your MetaTrader account. And a lot of these guys will call it AI or artificial intelligence, but really it's just an algorithm created by a developer, not necessarily AI. Our algorithms aren't just expert advisors that are plugged in to the MetaTrader. There's actually an external database that we have that has an active AI, like an algorithm running that's separate from the expert advisor. And that algorithm is feeding our expert advisor, our actual trading algorithm, economic and sentiment factors that you cannot get by just plugging an EA into a chart. And I know a lot of companies don't have that, but ours does. And I think that is the main differentiating factor for our algorithm is that it has true AI helping it make different decisions every day, every time it's trading, essentially. Now, do I have to be a high net worth investor to be able to use your platform? No, definitely not. I mean, we take investors with as little as 10, 15, 20K. As long as you can handle the service fee in that ballpark, you would be able to access the Gemio's product, no problem. So how does somebody begin? Um, step one would be once you've discovered the product, discover the company, you get walked through a presentation showing you the differences between each algorithm, the benefits, the pros and cons. We don't just highlight the pros. We always like we're trying to be as transparent as possible. We highlight the cons. We also show them the MyFX books and the public ledger with the results. And we allow our customers to or clients to make their decisions based on the actual results and the actual features of the algorithm itself. Um, once a customer decides they want to sign up, it's pretty simple and straightforward. We actually handhold them and walk them through the entire process, like setting up a broker account, getting funded, and even getting connected their account to the master accounts where the algorithms are trading. Now, keeping people from getting to that danger zone. Yeah. What do you have in place to prevent that? Yeah. So blown accounts essentially is what you want to avoid because no matter how good the profits and gains are, if you blow an account, it's never worth it, right? You can make 80% a year for five years, and then on year six, you blow your account to zero. So each one of our algorithms has a set catastrophic fail safe. So our lowest risk algorithm has a 20% max stop loss or fail safe. Also, they've never been hit. So the one algorithm is two and a half years old. It's never had a 20% loss in history. And our highest risk algorithm that does the higher ROI has a 30% catastrophic fail safe. So in a worst case scenario, if someone was to lose money more than a few points, they would lose 20% or 30%. And knowing that the algorithms do a set percentage per year over time, that recovery window will be relatively small because we keep the losses contained and minimized. Five, 10 years, 20 years out, where is Gemios? Five plus years from now, I would say Gemios would be in a position to continuing to work on the algorithms and making sure, because the markets are changing every day. That's one thing I know you guys for sure understand, but a lot of people may not, is that the markets are always changing. Market conditions change, political environments change, and that affects the market. So I think over time for us, five plus years would be continuing to adapt and being as proactive as possible and not reactive to make sure that our products are still working and performing and giving a healthy ROI for our customers. I think that's really the only goal for us is to continue to provide a profitable, worthwhile product for people. And how can we learn more about Gemios? Gemiostrading.com. You can go to Google and type in Gemios. Um, you can get on calls with some of our partners and have these things presented to you and explained to you. And there's like no hassle, no obligation for anybody that wants to get on a call and talk to us about it. We'll present them with the data. We'll show them the FX books and any questions they ever have, we're always there to answer them. Thank you for joining us on Nerd of the Street. Thank you. I appreciate it.